Today we're going to be fulfilling some more subscriber requests. Knight Lavelle, aka Shamar Paul, is a Canadian rapper and producer from Ottawa, Ontario. He began writing his first songs in 2014 while still attending high school. He's described himself at that time as being a shy kid without many friends, so he kept his musical ambitions quiet for the most part during that time. Knight Lavelle's mom is from the Caribbean and his father is from Jamaica. His father is a web designer and a musician as well, who goes by the name Renegade. He cites soca music as being one of his greatest inspirations. Knight Lavelle rose to fame after the release of his song Dark Light in 2014, which he produced and recorded himself using GarageBand software and a cheap secondhand USB mic from a thrift store. He dropped his first album in December of 2014 and he performed at his first show just one month later. He paid 100 bucks to be an opening act at the show, which took place in Montreal. Through some twist of fate, the show's headliners didn't show up due to car troubles, which led to Knight Lavelle headlining the event himself. Lavelle cites this one situation as being the catalyst that allowed him to break out of his shell. Most artists from Ottawa eventually moved to Toronto and claim it as their home city. However, Knight Lavelle made the choice to stay in Ottawa despite Toronto having more opportunities for artists. He made this decision because he wants to put Ottawa on the map and set an example for other artists from his city so the hip-hop scene can grow rather than stagnate. Let's get into the cookup. I pulled up this preset from a bass gutter bank in Electra X and I'm going to lay down a simple ambient melody in D minor. Here's what I came up with. I added some EQ and reverb and I layered the melody with this preset in pigments. Here's what it sounds like now. I opened up this sound effect in Analog Lab, and I laid down a couple of notes to create some ambience that will just sit in the background of the beat. I opened up this preset in Omnisphere, and I layered the main melody once more. I opened up this bell preset in Omnisphere and I made a counter melody. I opened up this sub bass and I laid down one note. I added a sound goodizer and an EQ. Here's what it sounds like now. I added a snare. I laid down another snare. And I layered it with this clap. I made this hat pattern. I added a rim. I laid down a crash. I made this kick pattern. I made an 808 pattern. I chopped up a bunch of audio clips of sound effects just to create a section of the beat that's pretty much just ambient noises. Here's what it sounds like.
Here's what the drums sound like all together. And for vocal mixing, it's essentially the same as always with two main differences. The first difference is that I will have three vocal takes of the verse, panning one to the left and the other to the right. Next, on my vocal dubs and ad-libs, I'm going to put a 1 16th delay and turn down the dry knob. Then I'm going to add a bit of reverb. Now it's time to write some lyrics. Night Lavelle lyrics tend to be pretty simple. Make sure to use his trademark sweet ad-lib, mention Novocaine, and mention that people call him Devil Baby James. And just a disclaimer, I'm not attempting to do an outright impression of Knight Lavelle. I'm just creating a rough approximation of his style. The track will probably sound closer to a Bones type verse just because my natural voice is likely closer to Bones than Knight Lavelle's. It's very possible that the final track could be extremely cringe inducing. This has been your first and final warning. The beat we made today will be uploaded on my second channel and my BeatStars page as well, available for free download as always. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. Jamie the beat so we mixin' them perfect